So listen, the third model. This is also very easy model, but important model. Okay, take a point which is nine centimeter away from the center of the circle of radius three centimeter, and draw the two tangents to the circle from that point. That means what? You should draw the circle with radius three centimeter. So this is a circle with O as center. We should draw the circle with radius three centimeter. Then we should take a point P, which is nine centimeter away. That means what? From this O, we should take another point. So this length should be nine centimeter. So this length should be nine centimeter. Now what we should do is, in order to draw the tangents like this P A and P B, you should draw the perpendicular bisector of O P. Students listen. This is very very important. What is the meaning of perpendicular bisector? Means for OP, perpendicular means what? Angle should be 90 degrees. Bisector means half of. That means what? You should draw the line such that it will bisect OP and also it should be perpendicular. The angle is 90 degrees. For that, one procedure is there. Now listen carefully. With the OI as center and radius more than half. Uh, with O as center, more than half radius means like this. Here you can extend also; that doesn't matter. Now you draw the perpendicular bisector. So now this one, again this side also you have to draw the same arc. Okay. Similarly, with P as center, the same length you have to draw the arc. Anyway, it will cut. I'll show you like this. Okay. Now similarly here also. The same length you have to draw, so it will cut like this. So here also it will cut like this. So from O as center, it will cut like this. Okay. So now we will draw the perpendicular bisector like this. That means what? If you join these two, that is a perpendicular bisector. So now listen carefully here. Draw like this. Okay. is our perpendicular bisector now this is point m so this length is 9 cm so once you draw the perpendicular bisector then with m as center and m o as radius you should draw the another circle okay so now with m as center and m o as radius that means what this one with m as center and m o as radius like this You should draw the another circle like this. Okay, so we'll draw that circle now like this. Okay, now here also the M S center, M O S radius. We'll finish that circle now. Okay, so now this is the bigger circle. Now it is going to cut the previous circle. And see here. A and A dash or A and B. So this is A, this is B. So after that, students, it's very easy. Draw P A and P B. So that is your required tangents. So now P A should be drawn and P B should be drawn like this. So now this is P A. This is one tangent. Similarly, PB also should draw. Now this is a another tangent. So two tangents. So PA and PB are required tangents. So that's what they ask. Okay, but listen carefully the steps of construction. It's very easy, students. First step: draw a circle of radius three centimeter. So this is a circle with a length three centimeter radius. Next, mark a point P from the center of the circle such that OP is equal to nine centimeter. That is your second point. Next, third point. What is the third point? For OP, construct a perpendicular bisector. Now I told how to construct the perpendicular bisector. Taking O as center. Okay, more than half of the radius as OP, you draw one arc here, one arc here. Similarly, with P as center, same length, one arc here, one arc here. So it will cut these two arcs. Then you draw the line. That is a perpendicular bisector. Now with M as center, M O as radius. So third point is what? Draw the perpendicular bisector of OP. 
cutting op at m so this is 90 degrees because perpendicular now what is the fourth point with m as center om as radius draw the circle another circle which cuts the previous circle at a and b so that is your fourth point now fifth point is very easy draw pa and pb so that is your fifth point those are the required uh, tangents now students will see the verification part also now students here pa pb are the required tangents from the point p but if you measure the length of pa and pb both the values should be same even we can do the verification for that part also so now listen carefully in this right angle triangle opa even you can take opb also that is up to you op square what is op square here oa square plus pa square let's use a right angle triangle property okay so pa square we need so pa square is op square minus oa square so op square we already know 9 cm oa square length radius of the circle 3 cm so 9 square minus 3 square 81 minus 9 72 so that i can write 36 into 2 nothing but 6 root 2 root 2 is constant value we already know 1.414 if you multiply 8.484 approximately 8.5 centimeter even if you measure the length of this one also we got it as same thing like 8.4 up to this 8 so this 8.48 like 8.5 so same length we got so that means your answer also correct so this is the verification part we can do by seeing the diagram itself so pa value you should find as op square minus oa square okay now we'll see the next uh, exercise okay students listen fourth problem third problem same model like this as it is you have to draw the circle first then take point p which is having nine centimeter then you draw the perpendicular bisector of OP, then MS and MS center, OMS radius, draw the another circle. It will intersect at A and B, then PA, you join PA and PB, then this is the verification part. Now here, this one also 90 degrees. That means what? Instead of taking here, this one, you can take it as 90 degrees. Because always 90 degree opposite is hypotenuse. That's what we use here. OP square is equal to OA square plus PA square. We we'll see the next exercise.